Praise God. Oh. Oops. Forgot to put on my mic. All right. There we go. So praise God. Hey, it's good to see you. Thank you for stopping by and seeing me for a couple minutes. And um, I'm, I, <laughs> I pray the Lord will bless you. So um, the other day, just, uh, you know, trying to finish off a, 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 a pretty long week and um, um, praise God, I've been busy, you know, um, I've got several different companies that are requesting work from me and uh, so praise the Lord, been super busy. Um, but Becky comes into me and she says, hey, you won't believe this. She goes, um, the lady I work with, um, or a lady in our office, I should say. Now, <clears throat> her office has, oh, I'm going to say five different people in there. Becky's in, Becky and another guy operate the title side of it. And then there's like four people, four other people that work on the, uh, loan side of things. Okay. And, uh, one of the ladies that work on the loan side of things, um, her husband has coronavirus and you know, she's been coming to the office and Becky's like, I just, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it. So, you know, so she tells me that. And the next thing I know I start feeling funny, you know, I start, I start coughing and I start getting this wrenching in my gut. Like, oh yeah, you, we ain't out of the woods on this thing yet. You know, we, <laughs> and I was like, no, no way. I am. No, I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. And, and I got up from my desk. I went into the, in, into the bathroom and I told Becky, I said, Hey, you got a minute? We need to pray. And her and I, we, we went to the Lord and, uh, and then her and I rebuked this thing again and the fear of it. We rebuked the fear of it. We, we told it, it had no place at our house that it was not coming near to us in the name of Jesus. We're not having no part of it and we're not living in fear. Praise God, man. You know, the Lord gives us that authority and, um, you know, but unless, but unless, uh, you know, we, um, stand in it, unless we know that we have that authority, um, you know, things like this, things like this can take over our life. And, <laughs> You know, listen, you know, the Bible's pretty clear. Bible's pretty clear that bad things are going to continuously happen in my life <laughs> because I live in a fallen world. And, um, you know, so the, the battle is going to constantly be at my door. But the Bible also says that I'm going to be victorious in all things. Amen. Praise God. So, so I don't live in fear. I don't, I don't, um, I don't need to worry. You know, I know that no matter how bad it looks, no matter how ugly it gets, God is going to see me through. I'm going to overcome it. I'm going to be victorious in it in the name of Jesus, because he has given me uh, the ability to stand and, and to come through it. He's given me the ability. You know, what, 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 what is it? I think it was uh, James 4, 7. James 4, 7 says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And you know what? It says, you resist the devil. God has given you the authority. You have to take on that authority. You have to remember who you are in Christ. 
uh, Jesus has given me the authority. I am in Christ. And, I, you know, as soon as I started feeling those fears, and then the next thing I know, I'm starting to have thoughts like, hey, man, my lungs are kind of burning. Ooh, you know, and <coughs> a couple of coughs and, ooh, man, I'm not feeling very good, you know. And then it, it, it was like, no, 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 no. I am not going down that road. I am not, no, no, we're not, we're not doing that. So into the bathroom I went because um, um, there's more, there's more power in Becky and I praying together and coming together in the name of Jesus, uh, according to the Bible. So I went in there immediately to her because I don't want her in fear you know, she was the one that, that could have come in contact with this thing. And I don't want her in fear. I don't want her worried about it. You know, so we needed to come together and come against this together. And, and then just apply the blood again over, over our lives, over our house, all that we possess, over our endeavors and our influence. <sighs> So we're going to be just fine. <laughs> Praise God. He is so good. He is faithful, you know, and we just need to remember who we are in Christ. Don't ever forget it. You know, that's why every day, every day we should spend, we spend, we spend time with the Lord because he is our protector. He is our provider. He is our all in all. He is our supply. And if, if we always keep him as our supplier, you know, he, then, then he will supply good. <laughs> he, he will supply good. Praise the Lord. So good. Faithful. Hear those puppies? They're over there playing. Man, I wish I had that kind of energy. Wow, they are just crazy. They get up, they get up, and the first thing, you know, it's time to face joust. They start face jousting, and then they come out here, they take a poop, and then, then they want to run around the yard. <laughs> that's, you know, that's how we do it. That's how we roll. They're good dogs. They just, um, high energy, high energy dogs, man. Don't get boxers unless, I don't know, better get two of them. Because I don't think any human could ever keep up with one of these dogs. There's no way. You better get two of them. Give them somebody to play with. Because you're not going to be enough. <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh, praise the Lord. He is good. He is faithful. He loves you. You know, don't forget that God has given us the power and authority. You know, being a child of God truly demands boldness and tenacity. There is no way you can live by faith and not be bold. And when things come knocking on your door, you decide whether or not you're going to let it in. Be careful who you let in. Be careful what thoughts you allow to ponder. You know, a thought, a thought wants to take seed in your mind. And it comes contrary to what the Word of God says about you. <laughs> you better bring it in. You better bring it into submission. And bring it into the authority of the Most High. And what He says and what this Bible says. That's why it's so important that we know what this Bible says about us and who we are. God, so important. So important. Well, hey, I love you. I want you to remember you are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. And Jesus loves you. You have a great 4th of July. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.